so friends if you have a low end pc with 1 gb or 2 gb ram and on this pc you want to run windows 11 then tiny 11 is a best option for you in this video i'm going to show you how to install tiny 11 on your pc so without getting much more delay let's get started the tiny 11 downloading link will be given in the description you can simply download from the description link so friends first of all ensure to download these two things tiny 11 23 s2 and rufus the downloading link will be given in the description after downloading all the things just insert a minimum age pen drive on your pc and then open rufus click on yes again yes okay rufus is opened and the pen drive will be automatically selected now just do one thing select the tiny 11 and drag it to the rufus okay it is automatically populated and now you can close the file explorer now before starting you will have to remind that every data on your usb pen drive will be deleted before starting the process make sure you have taken a backup of your usb pen drive and also you have taken the backup of your data which is lying on your pc because in this method we are going to install tiny 11 with single boot then just click on start and here you can remove the unnecessary requirements if your pc is unnecessary then you can check this or else you can create an username by yourself just checking it and set to just like it will set the region as my computer is and whatever you can disable bit locker everything okay i have removed tpm 2.0 actually tpm 2.0 is in my computer so i'm just unchecking it unchecking it you can check this if you need then just click on ok click on ok again and it has been started it will take 10 to 15 minutes you will have to wait here patiently okay when it will be completed it will show already and a green signal now just close it now you will have to restart your pc and access the bias menu of your pc to access bias menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google in bias menu just go to the security tab and if the secure boot is enabled just disable it and press f on your keyboard and hit enter and now this time you will have to access the boot menu of your pc to access the boot menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google now from the boot screen just select your pen drive and hit enter now on the screen select your language and time currency then click on next now accept terms and conditions and click on next now on the screen if you want to make dual boot then you will have to select a drive and just click on next i want to install freshly then i will delete all the partition just select partition and click on delete ok like this delete all the partitions then from unallocated space click on new and click on apply ok drive is created just select the bigger drive and click on next installation process has been started you will have to wait here for 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation while installation your pc may restart several time no need to panic the installation process will automatically be set up okay when the installation is completed it will restart automatically otherwise you can restart manually also by clicking here restart now your pc will restart automatically you don't have to do nothing for first time booting it will take some time you will have to wait your pc will restart again automatically just wait here just set up your windows for the first time select your region and click on yes select your keyboard language click on yes then skip here you will have to put your pc name or your full name then click on next you will have to create a password then click on next then again confirm the password and click on next just set up the security questions security question is set up just scroll this to the end and click on accept windows is starting you will have to wait here okay the OS is started and now if you go to this start menu you can see that there is clear nothing is here that means this OS comes with no bloatware if you click on all apps you will find no application only terminal windows security and accessibility calculator file explorer everything okay if you just go to the settings and check for update 
you can find the latest updates are also in the way it means if you want to install the latest windows on it it will get all the latest updates from windows you can see that and also in my case graphics acceleration is working fine if i search intel graphics command center it is also installed on my pc automatically you can see so hope this tutorial was helpful to you if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends we will meet on another day on another topic till then take care